Today we're going to go to the range and we're going to shoot this, the Smith & Wesson Governor. Before we go any further, we do what we always have to do, check that the cylinder is clear, barrel is clear, safety check complete. You guys probably know about the Smith & Wesson Governor, but for those of you who don't, this is a 410 shot shell revolver that also shoots 45 long Colt, which is quickly becoming one of my most favorite rounds and also shoots 45 ACP with the use of moon clips because 45 ACP are rimless. Um, if you pop them into the cylinder here, um, they would just fall halfway through the cylinder. So you need to use moon clips in order for them to be properly used in this uh, revolver, which thankfully Smith & Wesson gives you two or three of them uh, for use with the governor. So I picked this gun up because I love it. It looks beautiful. I don't have a whole lot of uh, immediate need for this, um, although it certainly can be used quite successfully in personal defense, um, whether it's home defense or uh, car defense. Uh, I don't, would not recommend this as a, as a carry gun. Uh, it's, it's heavy and it's big and it's bulky, um, but you certainly could, especially in winter time. So I picked up this, this uh, revolver and I wanted to find out what is the best self-defense ammo to use in it and there's a lot of options out there so today we're going to be testing out uh, five different types of ammo really four uh, when you think of self-defense ammo but i also threw in one there just for fun first up is going to be the remington hd ultimate home defense all right let's see what it did for penetration so you can see well, first for spread. So you can see we've got one, two, three. The fourth one is right here. So that's a pretty, at five yards, that's a pretty wide spread uh, when you're shooting at an intruder. Um, yes, it all is, a lot of it is center mass. Any farther distance than five yards, and you may you may point dead at this, uh, at this uh, intruder, but you may miss. So penetration. All right, so it looked like we had some penetration at the top, but nothing with this round over here. This round here, I know it's hard to see, there's a little bit of a bulge right here where one of the rounds stopped. So it looked like some of the balls did get through. Next up is the Federal Premium 410 handgun triple lot buck. Wow, what a difference brand makes as far as spread. Look at the difference here. The four, all four, tight group, nice tight group. Two, two and a half, three inches, even the wad hit here. So a very nice tight group on the Federal Premium triple lot buck. Let's see what it uh, did for penetration. Oh yeah, it took care of it. It took care of it pretty nicely. Blew it right out the back. Okay, all right, I like it. All right, next up is the Winchester PDX-1 410 Defender. Okay, not a bad grouping with those defense discs, pretty tight, about two, two and a half inches, same as the Federal Premium. But one thing obviously different is the BBs here. Now let's see how many hit the target. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like 10 out of the 12 hit the target. So again, as I said before, I don't, I don't quite understand with this being the primary mechanism for stopping the threat, I'm not sure what these uh, BBs would do. They clearly didn't penetrate, but let's see what uh, what the uh, plated discs did. And blasted it right through. Let's just double check, make sure. Yeah, that is clear through. Really nice penetration. So, so far we've had pretty good luck with penetration with uh, the uh, three layers of this particle board, which is pretty dense. You may think that it's not, but it's pretty dense and it's pretty comparable to uh, going through uh, sweatshirt, jeans, and stopping the threat. All right, next up is the Hornady Critical Defense 410 
triple defense. Okay, this is incredibly impressive. So we had an FTX slug, which I'm assuming is this impact here, followed by the two round balls right here, stayed very close together, bullseye, again from five yards, a wonderful spread, uh, great center mass. I love this. Let's see what it did in the back. Wow, it, uh, it devastated the back of this. I mean, it actually blew most of the other ones uh, in the triple layer here, kept a lot of the particle still glued to it, but this, these two uh, down here is the, uh, the two balls blew a hole right in there. Just absolute devastation. Very, very impressive. Uh, we may have a winner. All right, the last ammo we're gonna shoot is the Winchester Super X number six shot. The reason why I'm shooting this is to prove that if you're gonna be shooting 410 shot shells out of a Smith & Wesson governor or a Taurus judge, you have to use high quality and yes, expensive self-defense ammo. I'm just gonna show you how ineffective this is out of your Smith & Wesson governor. Look at this spread. All you've done is irritate the intruder. It doesn't look like this, I, well, I can't even tell to be honest if the, if, uh, the spread uh, expanded beyond the target. I imagine it would, um, but the, the bulk of it did land in center mass. But as you can guess, there's absolutely no penetration on the back. Let's do this again and shoot from point blank range and let's see what point blank range with number six shot will do okay at about one yard away we had pretty good pretty good groupings here not too bad of a spread the uh, wad hit center here and every single one of those uh, BBs uh, hit center mass so from one yard out great spread and as you can imagine zero penetration okay now that we did the spread test and the penetration test let's have some fun and shoot some water jugs okay first up is the winchester number six shot well it went through it it's draining not very impressive but it is draining. Let's see what a Hornady will do. Okay, now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, next up, we've got the Remington Ultimate Home Defense against a defenseless water jug. So take a look at what it did here. Looks like I can count one BB, or one, one buckshot that went through this. Remember on our uh, spread test, how uh, it, uh, it was like an eight, 10, 12 inch spread uh, with that ammo and I gotta tell you, it just this just makes it just kind of solidifies it for me that um, from five yards, only one of those uh, balls actually hit the target. Now it might be enough to do the trick, but man, where did the other ones go? Who did they hit, and what did they hit? Okay, next up is the Federal Premium 410 handgun triple aught buck. Wow, not only did it blow the carton up, it also blew it back seven to eight yards. Let's take a look at what it did. Okay, look at that. From the Federal Premium Triple Lot Buck, all four 
of those buckshot hit center mass. Look at that. Compare that to the Winchester triple out buck that only had one of the buckshot hit the target at all and not even center mass. Wow, that, what, a, what a difference the Federal Premium makes in the triple out buck. Last up is the Winchester PDX-1 410 Defender. Let's see what it does. Well, clearly it hit it. Let's see if we can see something here. So, big gaping hole up here on the top, and then a lot of, a uh, few of the BBs found their mark as well. Still pretty devastating. It hit a little high of center mass. That could have been the shooter. That could have been me. Um, so it's still a pretty devastating round, of course, but the uh, those BBs really uh, make me wonder why somebody would want to have this um, when it really is those center projectiles. I am having a heck of a time trying to find out where these plates exited. I can't, uh, I can't find... I, mean, I see a big hole here, but I don't see a big hole on the other side. Now there's a big split down here. Did all four discs go down there? I have no idea. It's a mystery. All right, what did we learn today? We learned that if you're going to use the Smith & Wesson Governor or the Taurus Judge for your home defense or car defense, you really need to spring for the self-defense rounds. That is the Hornady the Winchester PDX, or the Federal Premium triple Lot Buck. You cannot go, in my opinion, with what I've tested and what I've seen on other videos, you really can't go with much of anything else. If you have a disagreement, let me know in the comments below, and I'll check it out. So what did I learn? I'm torn as far as which ammo to use. If you remember me saying, I, I don't understand why there's BBs in the PDX one uh, from Winchester. Uh, the, the triple discs are, are great. Uh, but the BBs just seem like an irritant and that they'll do more damage than, than good. Uh, it's really a toss-up between the Hornady, uh, Critical Defense, Triple Defense, and the Federal Premium triple Out Buck. I will tell you that the Hornady is going to be more expensive, uh, but the Hornady really is a, a, a very high quality round, as is the Federal Premium. Now the difference is, is that you've got four projectiles going down range with the Federal Premium. With the Hornady you have three, but it's an FTX slug, so there's going to be some expansion when that slug hits the target. They both had pretty much sub three inch groups, which is really, I mean, if you're, if you're on target, uh, you have a little bit of leeway here and there from center mass, but you're really going to take, a, 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 and your shot is really going to have a devastating blow on, on whatever it is that you're, you're shooting at. So it's a toss up for me. I might go with the triple out buck because it's less expensive, or I may just sleep really well at night knowing that I've got a Hornady in my Smith & Wesson Governor. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit like. If you want to do some, uh, leave some comments down below, please do so. Thanks so much. Have a great day.